All right, so we got uh, Mookie Betts is the new lightning card. We got Gunnar Henderson, 99. So even if the card's not lightning, we still have some player of the month season award um, cards that are 99 overall. So that's great. All right, Gunnar's going to be awesome. I was really hoping it was going to be Bryson Stott just because of bias. Uh, but a good Bryson Stott, Stott card would have been awesome in the game, I think, because it's kind of new. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a card we don't get a lot. We've had a lot of 99 Mookies. Um, he definitely deserves the player of the month. But, um, and we get, you know, a lot of 99 Bryce Harpers and stuff like that. I just think a 99 Bryson Stott would have been really cool. But anyway, Mookie Betts, he looks incredible. He, he just looks insane. I think he's in the program. All right, so we have Gunnar Henderson. We'll start off with him. Free card. Really, really easy. If you haven't been playing the game, it's going to be tougher to get because you had to grind all these other season award drops and you can get them from packs and stuff. But to get these end game or I guess end of program cards, you have to just simply complete the program. Uh, Control Freaks. Yeah, I use I use CQC Rush. Let me get a link for that actually real quick, because I think the CQC Rush is the best. And I know galaxies are popular control freaks. But CQC Rush, ever since I switched from Galaxy to this one um, and then went back to Galaxy, I kind of learned that the CQC Rush is my favorite. The actual rubber seems a little bit, like, uh, like you know, stronger. Like, there's actually more grip to it, more traction on it. Yeah, so if you haven't done the season drops, you have Jurex and Profar, who you're going to want to grind for, even if you don't feel like grinding all the programs, you're going to want to get him at least. He just plays so well. And then if you get him, you'll be able to put him towards Gunnar Henderson and Mookie. Free Freddie Freeman. So this was something they hinted at in their uh, Instagram post. They said he's free, man. So I think everyone kind of knew it was going to be a Freddie Freeman. Uh, not the MVP, but it's Silver Slugger from 21. And uh, he definitely deserves it. So go go in the shop right now. Grab that pack. It'll be available for a little bit. Um, I don't think there's a time limit on it. So you'll be able to grab him at least in the next couple of days. All right, but let's take a look at Freddie Freeman. 118 contact against righties, 90 against lefties isn't great right now as we get better pitching, 90. But his swing's good enough, I think it'll play. 100 power, 82 power. It's actually very similar to that Matt Olson card, except less power. 125 clutch, that's maxed out. Uh, 82 fielding, 58 speed. 82 uh, power against lefties, I said that. All right, 90 vision, 96 discipline. Honestly, it's not as good as I thought it'd be, but it's free. So that's probably why it's not... Um, you know, maxed out with everything, but a lot of quirks. Quirks will help, and Freddie Freeman has a great swing. Hey, I, I'm not going to complain about a free 99. I mean, who cares? All right, the featured items, we'll get through that later. Let's get through uh, what Mookie looks like. I actually got to, let's figure out where to find him first. Season one, oh, it's the, the collection. So you got to get him in the collection. He's insane. 113 against righties, 125 against lefties, contact respectively. Uh, 108 power against righties, 90 against lefties, 106 vision is great. His swing is already amazing enough, so vision timing windows is going to be super easy to hit with. Uh, max clutch, 114 discipline, 95 vision, but 95 fielding, 63 speed, which is higher than his live series. So let's compare this to the live series card. Uh, 63 speed, 75 stealing, 79 base ring aggressiveness. Uh, bunts, the usual 35, 25. Everything looks great. Quirks. Got all the good ones. Dead red, bad ball hitter, table setter, situational hitter, breaking ball hitter. Um, he's not going to have pinch hitter, obviously, because he's a starter, so it's like the only one he's missing. All right, so my squad, I got him P5, so he's looking pretty good. I mean, the live series is still very valuable, and you got 104 contact, 115 contact, 93, 81 power, 94 vision. The fielding's not... Actually, the fielding is just as good. And then 120 clutch. So both of the cards are very similar, except... You don't have to spend money on the live series one, obviously, now that the free one's out. Roster update. Let's take a look at this. Shoei Otani still 94. Betts still 94. Acuna Wheeler, I think, went up from an 80. Nope, he was an 89 before. So in the top left, you see their previous 87. Adley Rutschman went from an 87 to an 88. Yo, Miller went 9 plus to a diamond. Wait, Mason Miller? If you guys invested in Mason Miller, you are making out like a bandit right now. Because I know he was cheap to invest in at first, but then he started going up. Uh, let's see. Scooble was an 85, went to an 88. Glass now went from an 85 to an 88. Kyle Tucker went from an 87 to an 88. Harper, 86 to 80, which I'm very happy about. I think he's been playing well enough. 
Turner, who is on the IL right now, probably for a couple more weeks with just a tweaked hamstring, is 87 still. Seager went down. A lot of people were expecting that. He went from a 90 to an 87, which sucks because he's been killing it for me on my team. Talon had 235 Christian Walkers. Have you, cha- have you taken a look yet? We're going to get to him. I think I got um, over 100 of Ryan Jeffers, who I know had to go up from a silver. Soto, still an 87. I'm really surprised he didn't go up a little bit more. I think he went from an 85 to an 87 in the first roster update. So that's that. Bobby Witt's still an 87. All right, so B. Witt stays the same. Michael Harris went down too. Uh, Semyon stayed. Edwin Diaz stayed. Jose Ramirez went up one. Uh, Dylan Cease, he went from an... Yep, all right, so Cease went from a gold to a diamond. So if you invested in Cease... Um, you automatically made guaranteed profit. Even if you even if you just bought them outright, like buy now, you didn't invest at an early price. Obviously, you're better off if you did, but you will always get a guaranteed profit if you buy golds that go to a diamond. All right, Contreras went from 85 to 86. Bellinger, gold to a diamond, 84 to 85. Yeah, Mason Miller went from 76 to 85. If you bought a Mason Miller and you bought a lot of them, you should be sitting pretty right now with your stubs. Uh, Guerrero stayed the same because he's the cover boy, so he pr- probably has to. Not that I agree with it, but Castillo's 85 still. Albies, 86 to 85. He went down one. Marte stayed. Pablo Lopez went from gold to 85 diamond. Alonzo stayed at 85. Emmanuel Classe got three, so he went from 82 gold to diamond. And now he's at 85. Altuve dropped from an 87 to an 85. Adoles Garcia, 88 to 85. Uh, let's see. Gunnar Henderson, wait, Sonny Gray, uh, plus one. So he went gold to 85 diamond as well. So you made some money there if you invest it. Gunnar Henderson, 84 to 85. As expected, we sh- I'm not I'm not, uh, not happy that he only went to 85, to be honest. I'm not like an Orioles fan or anything, but I, I would have sworn he would have gone to like 86 or 87 because he's a young, big name. And he's having a, an amazing year, at least in terms of home runs. He's a at the leaderboards, I think at 10 or 11 home runs, right? Uh, Christian Walker, Will Smith. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you? F- I have like 50 Will Smiths, and he was expensive. Will Smith did not go to diamond. He sits at 84 still. Lost six contact and six power against righties. Up 18 contact and two power against lefties. Well, that's a bummer for me. Oh, well, we'll move on. 82 to 84 for Isaac Paredes. Chris Sale went from 82 to 84. He might go diamond if he keeps his pitching up. Holy shit, where is this? Adley Rutschman is the new chase pack. So there's that. Everyone's been asking for Adley Rutschman, and he, you know, he won a Silver Slugger last year, so he deserves it. We got Diamond Defense. Does he have pop time? He does have catcher pop time. One of the best quirks in the game for defensive. Uh, I think it's like one of the only defensive quirks other than the pitcher outliers and stuff. Uh, dead Red, Rally Monkey, Bad Ball Hitter, Unfazed, Night Player, Home Body. Right now, looks like he's buying for 230K. And 106, 125 contact, 95 and 101 pop, 104 vision, 109 discipline, and 114 clutch. Yeah, man, this will play. <laughs> this is a great card. This is every, what everyone was asking for. Uh, is it going to kill Posada's value now? It actually will, yeah. I didn't think about that. So Jorge Posada will probably go down a little bit. And... You know, it is what it is. Um, having a switch hitting catcher that is this good and then Posada next to him. You know, but the other thing is, like, a lot of people aren't going to be able to get Jorge Pos- I mean, uh, Adley Rutschman. So, Hadley Rutschman being the chase pack, you know, it's not what people wanted, but you basically get the same thing in Jorge Posada minus the defensive stats. Jorge will play fine at catcher, but you're really going to want Adley if you want the, the pop time and all that, so... You know, it is what it is. I'm not going to spend the money on it. We also got a new headliner, and I've always liked Lars Newbar since this card came out last year. He will fit the Seiya Suzuki Asian team, Asian-born theme team. Even though, you know, Newbar wasn't born in a- anywhere in Asia, he represented them in the World Baseball Classic, so any card that did represent the, you know, Asian teams will also fit the Seiya Suzuki boost, which I forget what it is. It's actually a really good boost, though. Out of all those captain cards that came out in the pack, Seiya Suzuki is one of the best. Building a team to fit the boost is a little bit tougher. Later in the year, we'll get enough Asian-born cards that'll uh, that'll play just well. Chris Bryant, good card last year. A lot of people like to swing. 106, 121 contact. That's, I'll take that. 
102, 125 power, 99 vision, 103 discipline, 116 clutch, 88 fielding, 81 arm, 83 accuracy, 85 reaction, third base, first base, all the outfield positions, 74 speed. That might be fine in the outfield, I think, right? I think anything above 70 speed in the outfield is good enough if their hitting stats look like this. I mean, this is this is good. All right, this is the this is the home stretch pack, by the way. Hank Thompson, we had him last year, uh, plays every position except for first base, which is surprising. Really good lefty swing if you haven't used him last year. 114 contact, 104 contact, 100 power, 91 power. Everything looks pretty, pretty, pretty top notch. Uh, 98 fielding, 86 speed, 85 steel, 95 base runner aggressiveness. He's a very balanced player. Five tools, you can do a lot. But we got a Yuri Perez, outlier one. Outlier sinker and outlier sliders are the best pitches in the game. Doesn't get the outlier slider, but 88 miles per hour, it'll play fine. 109 hits per nine. Home run per nine does not matter in Diamond Dynasty, but we got 87 walks per nine with 88 control and then 99 break in velocity. Colson Montgomery, dude. Sweet swing, very sweet swing, and he's got pretty good fielding at shortstop. 87, 88, 90, and 89. 74 speed, uh, 108 clutch. 85 vision yeah i mean once you get to like if you get to the legend the vision might be a little bit of a problem but everything else looks pretty good Renhifo, dude this is a great switch hitting card i love Renhifo last year i think he got a 97 last year i love when like a 97 overall card plays like a 99 matt carpenter um i've always wanted to use more of him and i never i never do but always a great card always a great swing even against lefties he's got the open stance can hit left-handed pitching pretty well this is way better than hank thompson actually 121 and 115 power. Uh, 75 vision might be a problem in higher difficulties, but 122 clutch, that, that's amazing. I would definitely use him in like, you know, all-star hall of fame. Jonathan Lewisica. It looks like he's throwing like a, a ball from second base in this card art. And he might be throwing to first base, you know what I mean? On a ground ball hit back to him or something, but it doesn't look like a pitcher card. It is a pitcher card. One of the best relievers in my opinion. That plays very well. Does he have an outlier? Yes, he does. Sinker outlier, but we got 115 hits per nine, 106 clutch, 99 break velocity. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna want this card. They always put the best cards in the packs. It's a damn shame, but we still get some good cards outside of the packs. Um, we'll get through the rest of the packs though, because we got Cattell Marte. And if you're gonna, I mean, honestly, if you're asking me, Eduardo Escobar plays very similarly, similarly to Cattell Marte. All around his swing and stance are very similar powers actually more on eduardo um if you're considering both sides i would probably buy a season drop card um because you're guaranteed a charlie blackman if you get the base round he's pretty good or brandon nimmo all right um you have a shot at Cattell Marte and robert suarez who if you don't want you can sell for a pretty penny uh, other than that i would go for the the choice pack home stretch card get one of these guys actually you know what I take it back. Go for the home stretch pack first. You're guaranteed a 98 overall, and both of those, all three of those 98s will play like 99s in a heartbeat. Like, they're very, very good cards. Really good left-handed swing who can hit lefties. Switch hitter who has one of the best swings in the game. And and an unknown swing. A lot of people don't even know about Renifo, I feel like. Yuri Perez, if you get one of the rare rounds, it's up to you. All these guys will play well. Personally, I think... Since I like trying new cards, I'd probably go with Chris Bryant, a guy I don't use a lot. So here, here's why I wouldn't buy a Vault Pack, though, because you get free Vault Packs in the Team Affinity. If you just play Team Affinity, you're going to get them. So there's going to be six Vault Packs that you can earn for free just by playing Team Affinity. It's not even a huge rush to get that one done, but we got to get some more season cards so I can get um, George Brett eventually, man. Very close to Lou Brock. Five more cards and we'll get Lou Brock.